We'll find out which one it's going to be because now the drafting phase. So you know, I started now and drafting these and game one RSVPs versus Orange Esports. Yeah, so two picks on RSVPH. Open up and open up. And on Orange Esports, yeah. RGPH because so far I think Ooh, Mike has only mm -mm. played either on the Angela or the Franco. Yep, absolutely. And obviously, there's gonna be a weird no one on game one. Light, he is generally going to be the playmaker for RSG Philippines and obviously the people are going to want to play off of that early game momentum they want to make sure that light isn't open to game one mid lane is very very important here in this matchup we all know how light plays that Franco and also light goes for the side hi is a Pauline Pagorogon okay Eric Alex as well as and so yeah, game number one, RSGPH versus RSG Sports. Oh my god, they not pa rin yung Franco ni Light. Why? Or hindi nila afford mag ba ng Franco pag first week? Hindi ba hindi nila mas mag ba ng Angela ng ng Julian? Nag-Julian ba yung RSGPH? Parang hindi ko pa nakikita. Parang hindi ko nakikita ang pang pang hero siya or pang playstyle siya ni Aqua. So most probably it's either si Nats or si Demon kahit ang magjujulian. Wow! As my first pick! Inagaw na kay Nats. So may Bea pa and may Franco. display a very large hero pool. Esmeralda is going to be one of his best heroes. So since they know they're contesting that with RSG Philippines, it's understandable that they would want to prioritize that away. True. Pili rin na yung ano, Esme. Do understandable naman yung Esme. So sana, pero sana binan pa rin nila yung ano, yung Franco, kesa Angela. Kasi usually na naman ginagamit ang Angela pag may link. Diba? Angeling combo. Tapos kung plano rin naman nila mag-first pick Esme, Man, parang, parang kaya naman ng Esme yung Angela. Kasi di ba ang awkward yun kung sino yung sinaniba ng Angela na yung nahabol ng Esme para mas lalo lang mamamatay. Umabot ng 3 picks yung ano, 3rd pick yung Franco. Kaya nga ano, mas pinili nila yung Akai and yung Beatrix. Yung Bea given yun. Yung Akai, nakatama na mag-Akai sa Demon Knight. Hindi pa yata, first time yata. Yeah, parang first time yata. Ewan ko, I don't... Hindi ko nakapanood yung laban ng RCPH sa group stage. That's the flexibility of the hero. And one of the big reasons why Akai nowadays is being prioritized heavily. And because RCPH are flexing it in this way, not allowing RNG sports to find out where exactly this hero is going to go, it does put a big question mark on their head. If you ask me personally, I'm thinking... Saver, wow! You can hear the crowd. They see the sound. Tindripix na yung Atlas. Ano yung ano? Malaysian pala yung Orange Esports. Kaya pala sumigaw. Ah, baka kilala tong Orange Esports na Atlas main. Again, there's just gonna be a lot of pressure in that strong side. They can play. Uh, they have a lot of global presence as well with the Xavier. Oh. Sure, it hasn't really worked off a lot in this tournament. Success rate or the win rate of Xavier. Parang Atlas Mini yata ito ang Orange Esports eh. Currently, but I feel like Orange Esports, they can definitely execute this game plan. The thing is though, RSGPH, they can still pick up the Franco here. They, yeah, they definitely can. And it will be instead a Thomas first prioritized for the EXP lane. Yeah, Thomas for Nuts. Bagay kayo Nuts ka nito talaga ni Nuts yun eh, Thomas. Thomas is pretty much a lane bully. You can get that early game advantage. Oo nga, no, Diggy is open. Maganda yung Diggy against, ano, Atlas, man. Solid yung Diggy. And I think, Mirko, we also talked about this in another game, where you know your matchup so well that you can abuse it to your advantage. Yeah, being able to know these heroes is always going to be important. Even when you're playing against them, you have to understand how you want to win. Pinahayaan nila yung Franco. Kasi yung naka-atlas sila, baka gusto, akala ng ano, ng Orange Esports. Ay, hindi na mag-ano yung magpa-Franco kasi may atlas na. Parang ganun yung mindset nila. Or baka ano sila, confident sila na kaya ng atlas. Nila yung Franco. Ay lang yun eh. Sir, piling ko ay lang yun talaga. Mindset nila kaya. It's either kaya, pag ginawa ng RCPH pa rin yung Franco, kaya ng ano, ng atlas. 
Or kung pwede sila na hindi ko kuha ng Atlas kasi nga Marina, ng Prago kasi Marina silang Atlas. Love you! Yan, magandang ba yung Digi? Pag nagdigin, <laughs> walang kuha tayo yung Atlas. Hindi nila alam. Si Light kahit natutulog yan, gumagano niya, no? Kumuho. <laughs> Pati ang dami ng times na kahit sabi mo may, may Atlas, kayang-kaya pa rin ng baka-cancer ng, ano, ng Franco. Ilang beses ang pinatunayan ni Vinya ng Grand Finals ng Indonesia. Ilang beses siya nag-pranko noon na nanalo pa rin siya sa Atlas. Parang di tuloy nag-research. Hindi nag-research! So bagay, best of five naman to. Baka gusto nila subukan. Kasi yung pinion game one, malaking factor yan. Sa kung paano mag kung paano magpo-flow yung drop niyo ng game to game 3 and game 4. So baka pag nagbigyan yung uh, prangko dito ni eh, ni Light ng game 1, possible hindi na siya magprangko sa mga susunod na matches. Parang testing, testing. Parang tira testing nila ng game 1. So possible na bigyan download game to ng Orange Esports. It has taken a while. I'm surprised the hero made it this far, but Light going to be picking up the Franco finally. So that early game, Orange yeah. Esports definitely has to pay a lot of attention. Now, the big question is, what is going to be the final two picks? Especially, you might be wondering what balance is going to be playing here. Clint and Popol and Koopa have already been banned out. But personally, these are two heroes that I have not seen Venom playing. Yung, Even the Irritel, yung tapatan niya, Venus at Esme, mas gusto ko yun. Yung Venus at Esme, kasi sa Tamos. Parang mas, 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 ang mayarap kasi doon, kaya nga ng Uranus, pero mas madaling, mas mabilis makakikit yung Esme kaysa sa Uranus. I guess they're just taking it away as well, right? Sure, it works out in the lane because you can kind of bully Beatrix if this Lilia does... Kagura, so why don't we not give? ...taking away something from Aqua, right? Forcing him to play that Kagura here might be a good choice, but frankly speaking, that Franco... Why don't we give on Pernas? Pretty scary, man. Mga Malaysian nga pala yan. Oh, wait lang yung ano pala, yung sa drop. Wait lang guys, ha? Bago tayo na panuurin. Check lang natin yung ano nila. You can kind of bully Beatrix if... Yung final drop nila. So, chichika lang tayo saglit lang. Mga, ano lang, mga, mga one, mga one to two minutes. So, ito yung drop ng Orange Esports versus RSGPH. So, makita naman natin sa first three ba ng Orange Esports at ng RSGPH yung mga respect ba nila. Sa isa't isa, na nakita natin na hindi binan ng Orange Esports yung pranko. So, it's either sobrang confident silang katapat yung pranko or sobrang confident sila na hindi na magpa-pranko yung RSGPH. Since, uh, inaipeg ng Orange Esports yung Atlas. Pero nakita natin na mas pinik pa rin ng RCPH yung Franco. Kasi maraming times na kahit sabi mong counter ng Atlas yung Franco, na mas nananalo or mas nakaka-cancer pa rin yung Franco. Ang malaking patunay niyan was the, uh, uh, sa Grand Finals ng Indonesia kung saan mas nanaig yung Franco ni Bin kumpara sa, ano, sa Atlas ni Kiboy. And for the draft, for me... Medyo weird na hindi nag-pick ng... Actually, sakto lang pala. Ay, yung Kagura. Pero pili ko mas better pa rin yung Ibe eh, kumpara sa Kagura. Kasi pwede ka nang mag-purify uh, for, the, for the Atlas. Pero feel ko yung, ano, yung lineup ng or or Orange Esports. Saan mo pinapredict nila sa kung ano yung uh, gagamitin ng RCPH. Pero, hindi ay yung kinukuha ng RCPH. Kung baga parang sa last pick, in-expect nila na mas kukunin nito yung Eve. Kaya siguro mas kumuha sila ng ano na ng Hellcurt kasi mas parang hindi din eh no. Yung. Kasi ba yung Hellcurt sa Eve? Nung sa MPLPH. Oh. Pwede pwede yun eh. Depende yan pagka yung Hellcurt maron ma ano. Pero sobrang smart nung Kagura pick din pala kasi nga meron siyang pangtakas against Atlas. At the same time, uh, meron din siyang pangtakas against ano, against Hellcurt and uh, somehow kaya niyang sabayan yung early early game ng Lilia. Pero drop wise wise, kanino ka mas, ano, mas, mas pabor? Sa RSG. RCPH, bakit? Eh, ano eh, pranko, pranko yan ni Light eh. Sa bagay, no? Kahit anong counter dyan, pranko pa rin ni Light yan. 
Ako din na mas pabor ako sa ano, sa lineup ng Ay, ano pala to? Golden, ano pala to? Lilia. Mas pabor ako sa lineup ng RZPH. Depende lang sa kung paano mag-work yung Lilia Golden. Kasi parang wala silang pang tapos eh. Lalo na meron pa naman tong ano, Akai and also ano, Beatrix. Pero early game, uh, dedepende pa din sa pranko nila ito kung paano magi kung gaano magiging impactful sa ano sa early to late game. Pero jungle wise, for sure mas makakarotate yung ano yung Akai kaysa sa Helcurt. Kasi parang hindi naman counter ng Helcurt yung Akai, no? Mas counter pa ng Akai yung Helcurt. Hindi So parang sobrang awkward nung Helcurt pick para sa akin. Kasi Bahay. parang hindi na rin kayang ma-burst or ma ma punit yung Tamos basta-basta. So ay yung thoughts natin for the game one drop. Okay, balik na tayo sa game. Pang TikTok lang yun guys, kasi may inahabol tayong kota sa TikTok. Against! Because the can't win. And it's RSG up against... So far, RSG... Be yeah. in the mid lane. Yan, ipapass lang natin to guys sa Aling Pace. Ah, it's a Saver Golding! Oh my god! <laughs> it's a Saver Golding! Wow! Interesting. Mas pabilis ka naman makakaskill yung Saver sa... Sa Golding! Kasi si Zaver. Akala ko malal. Akala ko rin. Kasi di ba usually talaga liyari yung yung mage na gina golding katulad ni Marky. Sa bagay yung ano rin kasi yung Zaver, scaling din kasi naman talaga yan. Hindi siya ganun ka ano sa early. Ang grabe ha. Nagulat ako dun ha. Uy. Ay grabe talaga. So dun yung nakikita ko bakit yung kailangang iban yung Pranko ni Light! Alam yung ginagawa ni Light? Yung pagbago pa siya makitang kakita ka pa lang sa kanya sa mapa, humuhok na siya. Mas hindi ka maka, mas hindi makakarak yung kalaban. Pati mas magandang combo yung ano. Sa bagay sim na. Sabi ni Eman, ngayon lang ako nakatapat ng abya ha. Kaya nga eh. So interesting tong ano ginagawa ng Orange is Chris. So tingnan natin kung paano siya mag-over. Ano, mas binubuli ng ano ng Thomas yung ano. So ang nangyayari dyan, ang tendency, kaya para for me mas better yung Thomas kaysa Uranus. Kasi mas maka, mas, ma, mas merong ma-presence yung may Thomas. Grabe naman talaga yung hook, man. Pina-assess ni Aqua. Si Aqua versus Man. Aqua Man. Si Aqua Man! Ang talino mo dun, Waes! Si Aqua Man. Si Aqua Man. Ay, yun lang. Nag-level 4 yung ano, si Light. Kaya nakakagat dahil sa Turtle. Parang hindi ko nakikita talaga na mag-work yung Hellcurt against Tamos. Tsaka ano? Against... Akai and also Kagura. Siguro sa prank o okay yung Hellcurt, no? Kasi hindi mo basta-basta makakagat yun eh. Yung Hellcurt eh. Ay wow, nakuha ng, <laughs> ng saver yung blue buff. Wow. Uy, nagpigil si na, si Light. Parang ML na ML ngayon yung RCPH, haramdam ko. No. Grabo niya yung ano, Helcurt kala niya. Pangit ng Helcurt yun. Kakatakas pati yung ano, kagawa na kakatakas. Kaya nga, as in, sobrang weird ng Helcurt. Ang dami naman open na jungles, like Balmond, or hindi ko sure kung may Karina din ba kanina, or may pwede rin sa dilik mga Barals, or Baksha. Literal na sa prank ko lang okay yung Hellcurt eh. Si Iman! Ay, ayaw! Yan ang sinasabi ko naman. Si Iman! Tsaka si Man! Grabe. Tsaka si Min. Tsaka si Min. Ano yan, magkapanid ba yan? Man, tsaka si Min. Kaya. Ay, nakita ka bigger. Oh, alam ko nakaka bigger pag nakaano. O, yung maganda yun. Magandang set yun. Kaya, magandang set mo. Ang 
Wala ka sa sigaw, nadidinig ko. Yung audience. Oh. Audience. Audience. Okay. Kina letter O. Purify, purify, purify. But they haven't gotten a single one on their side. Interesting yung gold being saved. I mean, this is, you have to take a leap from the previous games as well. Epo's SG, they made the exact same mistake by not having a single one. And it was this Atlas Fatal Links that caused them all these team fights. Yeah, absolutely. That is exactly what RNG Sports is looking for in that situation. Oh, you see, Bourne. Yeah, Bourne caught low. Still, I'm not going to Actually, the Purify. I'm not going to have a Bea. No, no, no. 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 No, RSG Philippines gets another Drop. one on the board. Man, he's just gonna walk yun. down there. He's trying Pero to walang peeker, kaya patay pa rin. Just diving in, will be able to secure that kill. Born takes one trade, but he is gonna lose his life. That's going to win. He's going to these members away. Born might actually be able to win this one. Both teams just... Dahil sa ano yan, dahil sa San Xavier, medyo na awkward yung ano RSG. Very good job of buying a lot. Kagi, nakaano si Nuts? RSG PHs. Di mo na Hunter Sword. Interesting. Parang damage siya. Parang kiluwas to ah. Gusto talaga kung iwan di iwan yung ano. Buti naman sakit oh. Ang kakas ng SS yun eh ni Tamus. Alam mo ba? Ano mang ginagawa ng SS Tamus? Ano, pagka nag SS yan, ano? Lumalaki siya. Ay legit. Hindi ko alam yun, promise. Man to have that reaction time or just the time in general uh, to pop that black shoes. If you could just initiate on him, lock him down, burst him, it's gonna be really good. But here you go, light going for the bloody hunt. Yeah, and already Min has just been hey, melted totally down. Ano, counter yung Atlas. Depende pa din sa lalas ng ano, pagkas magaling. True. Parang walang lalo. Depende pa din sa lalas na magagawa ng Franco, no? Light, look at him just again and again throwing out these hooks. Even if they don't catch, it zones out so much space for the team. What we do still have to be careful of, though, is that this Atlas, even if he is dying a lot here in the early game, all you need in the late game is that one big fatal links. In terms of items right now, we can see that the cores are just like a little bit Pag Atlas ka, it's the best to be able to early. Pag dating ng mid to late game, isang fatal links na maganda lang kailangan niya. He's going for that DHS, just cheeky damage in the early stage of the game as they just have full control of the turtle side here. They're going to just go for it, and again, Orange Esports is trying to respond with a trade onto that bottom side, but RSG are too aware in the mid lane as well. Or take it all, he's getting overturned. Ah, it's a pain. Yeah, on the bottom side, it's hard to get something to the surprise, but here's the thing, the lane is in the name of Ivan. Grabe si Min doon, ah. Man, si Min. Si Min, man! Grabe. That's just unfortunate there for RNG Sports, but they are actually able to trade reasonably well despite being 3k behind. Ang word na Helgard lang yung physical damage from RNG Sports. Nung mahalaki ka si Tahamus, grabe. But RSG, they're controlling this mid side so well, and they're playing their weak side lanes also just incredibly, incredibly well. Even though you said that Aqua was forced into this Kagura, it doesn't seem like it at all. That burst damage coming from the Yin Yang Overton just turns basically turns around the team by entirely. Ooh. And now RSGPH, they strip so much boss. control off the map, the top and the mid and the bottom side as well. All three lanes, it's starting to look really tough for Orange Esports. Yeah, definitely, but we do have to recognize that in the early game, Orange Esports knows that they're probably not going to win out, and if they do, it is just really good for them. Right now, they're not exactly in a guaranteed si loss. Ano? They are 5k Saber. behind. Yes, the mana. Hindi to na libro. Especially when you consider yeah. that Saber. they scale pretty well into the late game Bapun with all mage. three of Pula these mages. Damage. What I am Parang really worried about is with most of their damage being Lalo mage, they're going to be able to victimize against them. 
This is the Franco that you need to be scared of. That you Naku, need to be scared of. That you 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 need to Wait lang guys, ah, medyo matagal yata yung post. Ayan na, ayan na, ayan na. Dead mids na agad yung game. Uy! Kumabit yun? Kumabit! Kumabit. Nako! Mukwak lang ang gagawin niya. Huwag nyo naman yung lord. Huwag ka kaan ano na yung lord ah. Ay, winaga na nila. Uy, grabe. Grabe, GL card ni Light. Buti din dala ni Light yung GL card na binigay ko sa kanya. Parang kaya nga mag-work yung Saver for me. Kaso kailangan mag-i-impactful nung mid tsaka top lane. Tsaka jungle. Lahat. Di may yung mag-abya. Siguro kung hindi to ano, Hellcard. Kasi naman Hellcard, hindi kaya walang impact eh. Kaso, pagka ano, siguro iniisip nila pag nagkarina sila back siya, mag-mage item lang, wala na. Mag-mage defensive lang. Sa bagay, sobrang ano sila, sobrang mage nung lineup nila. Pero sana pinisikal na lang nila yung mage, yung mid. Pang, ano lang daw, pang gulat. Ay, parang si Shanshai. Focus themselves. Grabe naman yung pink spike. Kaya naman itong yan ng Orange Esports. In-depth pa. Madali nang mag-push pag ako eh. Pati pag may ano no, Bea. Bea yung pinakamalakot mag-push na mid na ano, na marksman eh. Dahil sa sniper. Ingat lang siya sa Atlas, tsaka sa ano, sa... Nakita mo yung build ng ano, yung Lilia. Legit! Maganda ba ba't force na? Sakto lang. Parang weird, pero... Gawa na gawa. What can you do? They can't push out of phase, they can't get any farm because you can see how the RSG Philippines are controlling the wave specifically to try and slow down Orange's farm as much as possible. They're actually grouping up the minion waves so that they will delay Orange's push from taking this lord, giving it over. Oh! Ooh, that was close. Holy shit. Si Ima nang nakakuha ng lord para makukuha ng saber. Just go down. Pagalawa din. Ay, kanina din ah. Muntik ka na. Parang ano, gap na gap sa... Parang ano, nakatagpa na orange. Parang masyadong malayo yung ano, skill level ng dalawang team. 
O oh, hindi ah. Parang pili ko sobrang na-cancel yung talaga sila ng ng ano ng ng prangko. Tapos ang weird lang ng ano Hellcurt game. Wala, well, yan yung game man eh. Oh, parang dorog na dorog. Okay, imagine mo yung laban niya sa upper ba- sa upper bracket. Ano. Semi-finals na yan eh. Mm. Ay, pag semi-finals pa. Yeah, top side turret taken very low. Gonna be taken down there as RSG look to convert on more objectives. Bottom side and mid lane pushing at a very good time here as that will be going for the no na naman paano ba yan kung mauhok yung ano pa may epic ba coming as well towards born pit we're going to see here for me and go over look for snipes again on to the turret will be able to take it down looking for one more into that mid lane they're just stripping down the base at this point in the mon he's not getting any space Yeah, definitely. I mean, he was Ooh. in the back line. Yeah, grabe. Nako, kilala ko si Iman, ng chat Now that they've made it work, it's going to be difficult. Ayan na ang ano, hindi na, hindi na naglalalim yung ano, guys. Hindi na sila, ano, nagmalalim. Nagano si ano, si Iman kahit attack speed sa akal. Ano yung boots niya, oh? Para mga hindi ako mas nag-tapot sa lang ka, ano? Or sakto lang yan. Ako gusto ko sa akin. Hindi ako nagdagay niyang boots niya. Uy, nag-trigger si Iman. Oh, W reply. Kaso, ayun, ang ganda ng kagabi, ano? Ganyan ang kagabi doon ni Light. Grabe, kung hindi nakagabi ni Light yun, pili ko maubos tong ano. RCP, siya na na marina si Iman tsaka si Aqua lang silang bawas para sa ano para sa Sivir, grabe yung kagad kayo doon, promise, sobrang clutch doon yung ano Sivir, tas naka-SS pa yung Hellcurt na anong kinagat niya anong ginagawa yung Hellcurt to? ah, naipid! <laughs> Grabe. Kung um, ano, kung hinit na yata ni Naps yun, una pa lang. Nag-hira-hira pa kasi sa konti. Hindi ko nakapansin. Or kapilatay mo na nilang Hellcurt. Kaya silang pang Lord. Uy, thank you so much kay Lord. Thank you so much kay Madam Lord. Super thank you. And good night, good night. Ayan, sa akin. Parang wala pa rin bawal siya kahit parang naka-physical na siya eh. Sayang mo siyang hit na lang oh. Tanga na. Honestly, If Light had just stayed there, Okay, pag natalo pa yung RC lang dahil doon, nasakat na naman sa ulo niya. O, yung ganda ng pwesa ni Aqua. Wala, Jake lang, ano. Parang Jake na yata. Hook flicker! Alam na alam mo ah! GG! Can GG, RSG! Wait lang, leg na ba yung game na ba yung number 2?